Hey folks, it's Russ with Wrenching with Russ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to fix your blend door for your heater control for your 2019 Chevy Trax. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take it all apart. Everything just unsnaps. Everything on this car is plastic. So you just pull this front plastic off the dash and then there's four screws that hold the radio in. Two at the top, two at the bottom. Take those four screws out. And then the radio just slides right out. And then once you get the radio out, just disconnect all your connections to the back of it. And again, they all just clip out. Once you get the radio out, the next thing that you want to do is you're going to take the faceplate off your control unit for your climate control. So just take a screwdriver or a little small pry bar and you're just going to pop the plastic corners off. Just like I'm doing here. Once you get them off, they just pop off. There's four screws that hold this climate control unit in. So the two trim pieces on each corner that you'll see me move back, all you have to do is just unsnap those and you just need to move them down about five or six inches. You don't need to take the whole cover off of it or anything off the gear shift because anything around that plate or that gear shifter stays on. You just unsnap these down about halfway and then that exposes the two screws on each side. You take the two screws out just like I'm doing. Then you go to the other side, do the exact same thing, pull the trim piece down. And take the two screws out. Once you get all four screws out, then this climate control unit just pulls straight out. And then the problem with it is right where I'm pointing. This is a cabling system. And what happens is it gets in a bind and the cables break, just like this one. That's one of the cables I'm showing you there. So the simplicity of this thing is it's just basically plug and play. It just snaps in. So the first thing you want to do is take a screwdriver and pop this off. It has two snap. There's the first one, and the second one's underneath. You pop that off, and then that cable runs underneath the dash. And in the top left, that white wheel that you see, it's a little out of focus. So I'll have to zoom it back in. I apologize for that. So right in the top left where I'm pointing right here, that's, that's the other end of this cable. And it's a 5.5 millimeter wrench, and you can't get anything else in there to take this bolt out. So once you take that out, that's the other end of it. It pulls back through the dash. This is our new one. And you basically just reverse the process. And that end goes into the climate control unit. One of the biggest things you want to do, and this is our unit that we bought from Amazon. They're about 45 bucks. It's probably 600 at a dealer. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the end that's going to be connected to the controller with the bolt and the washer on the opposite side goes underneath the back bracket behind the radio mount which is where I'm showing you right now. There's a metal bar back here and it has to be behind that. So once you get it behind it, there's really only one spot that you can take it back through and that's to the right. There's an opening. and You'll want to slide it right through the opening just like I'm doing. 
and that's how it goes. Now, once you're through the opening, you want to make sure this is not on a bind. And then the back of that console to the right, there's a small plastic molded loop with a split in the middle of it. That's where the cable goes. It has to go back in there because that supports the cable. And then once you get it in that ring, you bring it back up, and then you got to make sure that it's facing the right direction. And then this just snaps right back into the control unit for the climate control. And then what this does is controls your blend door for your heat and for your cold. And it can only go in one way because this plastic gear is slotted. So you'll see that it can only go in one way. So once you get it lined up, It'll snap right in. Okay, now that you got the cable in the back and in the slot, it pretty much just lines up right in the back of the climate control unit, just like I'm doing. It can only go one way. So you just turn your climate control dial until it drops in, and then it snaps in, just like you see in the back. So once you get it snapped in there, you want to make sure that you get it lined up on the other end and put your bolt and washer back in it and then remount this unit. And as you can see, this is what it controls. It controls your blend for your hot and your cold. And there's what it looks like after it's completed. And you can see that the cables are moving back and forth like they should be. And again, you don't want this in a bind because it will lock the cable up and break it again. So you just want it to be able to freely move back and forth. Once you've established that you got it in correctly and that it is moving right, you just reverse the process, put your radio back in, and snap all your connectors back in. The nice thing about this, everything is just plug and play. And you can save yourself thousands of dollars doing this yourself. It probably re really is about $600 for the dealer to do this. And the part was $45, and we probably had an hour's worth of time in it. So once you get your radio all plugged back up, you just simply remount it. And then you just got to reinstall everything and zip it all back up. And again, it's all just plastic and it just snaps together. So snap your dash panel back on. And then the last thing you're going to do is put your glove box back in. And we removed the glove box. We uh, took it out just so we have access to that wheel where we put the bolt and the washer in it. So you'll want to pull that out too. But it doesn't take but about a couple of minutes. You just pull each side in, pull the glove box down. So you're just going to reverse the process. And this is how you take it out. And that gives you access to the control panel on the inside. And that, folks, is how you do it. So why pay someone else thousands of dollars when you can do it yourself? If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to us and hit that like button.